Hey everybody, welcome to Subpixel Live. My name is Kyle. We're going to be playing some Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, your stream is working correctly. I think I finally got this figured out. So let's dive in and see how this game turns out. All right. So hopefully you guys can hear everything. If you can't, let me know. I don't like to have the game volume too loud. All right. So... Uh, last week we left off on the second part of our two-part mission that we had to do. I completed that part in the interim between last week and this week, and I've got everything set to start, so we're just going to jump right into it as soon as my controller starts working. There we go. Alright, let's get into it. Umono Prison Camp. We're, we're trying to break out a bunch of people in this prison camp so that we can add to our numbers in our army. An enemy attack! That's what the enemy tends to do. Hmm. There's Sothi. Okay, great. Free those prisoners. Oof. Where are all the bad people here? I want Jill. Jill's so good. All right. I'm just gonna save here so I don't have to redo that if I die, or maybe I, when I die. All right, let's get into this. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Again, this is Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, originally for the Wii, and I think came out in 2006. Is the sequel to Path of Radiance, which was the first game to feature Ike. It's just, uh, eh. All right, we're gonna do something maybe I shouldn't do. I'm gonna let this guy take care of everything by himself. Brave Sword means you can attack twice in one go, including your counterattack if you're being attacked. So let's see what happens when we send Sothi up here. Alright. Also, I don't play with the attack animations on because it just takes way too long. Um, they, they look pretty, you know, I'm sure that Intelligent Systems, uh, who's the developer behind this game, did a ton of work to make sure that they looked as good as they do, but I honestly can't be bothered because they just take so long. Just trying to get some of my ranged guys in uh, position here. Great. That's why we give him the good sword, because he's really powerful. His name is Zyhark. He's a sword master from the original game, uh, who you find uh, along the way as you begin this game. I didn't realize there were other people here. Oh, it's Tormod and Mar Marim. Marim. Vika. So these are uh, Lagu's characters. They can, or well, the two with the, uh, the one with the wings and the one with the tiger ears, they can turn into a tiger and a hawk. Uh, and Tormod is just a, a mage, fire mage. So they're also for the first game, except for Vika. She's a new character. They're going to come out right here. <laughs> These are all the old characters reacting to another old character, which is which is great. Let's go wild! Sounds like a I don't know, like a Power Rangers kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. 
So. I wonder if I can talk to him. I'm actually gonna come around here and attack this guy first. Good job. Jill must be like... I think she has a weird biorhythm right now. Because she is not hitting her marks and hasn't been for the past like two games. Or two levels. It's really weird. Sometimes characters, if you're interested, sometimes characters uh, go through peaks and valleys of their um, their skill level. I don't know. Let me see if it comes up. No, I guess you can't look at it. Oh, no, you can. Yeah, so they're by over them. So Sothes is normal, which means he's, like, pretty average. But let's look at Jill's. Yeah. So hers is really bad, and it's good and bad really often. So um, you kind of have to be careful when you put characters who are at their worst up against a large number of people, even if they're really strong characters, because they'll just die anyway. All right. Let's see about... Well... I'm going to bring him back down here because he needs to talk to Tormod. All right. I'm just going to end the turn here. But it's a fire mage going up against another fire mage. There you go. He was uh, a pretty good character in the first game, too. I leveled him up all the way. Those sages are notoriously bad at uh, dodging physical attacks. But they're great range characters. Hey, come down. Visit for a while. Zyhark, quick healing. Let's see what happens when I come down here. <laughs> so there was like a 12-year-old kid in the first one, so it's been a couple years. Apparently very uh, major uh, growth years for him because he's super tall and it looks like he's 20 now, even though he's only supposed to be like 15. Sir Sothi. <laughs> I guess I don't get to control these guys. I kind of thought that I would. So the good thing is... There's no requirement on this level other than to seize at the very end. Which is all the way over here. So you just gotta put someone on this square that he's standing on. So now I think, I, yeah, I get to control these guys now, which is great. All right. So Morim is really powerful. And if it's from the first game... Uh, now, so on the first game, he had a an item that would force him to be in his beast form uh, for the entire match, or the entire level, and it was really nice. But not so, I think, anymore. I have you heal him. Alright. Send everyone up here. Yeah, I like this much better. We'll we'll send everyone to the back. If you've never played Fire Emblem before, it's chess with cool characters. Um and people who could take multiple hits sometimes. Nolan should be able to take way more than he can, but he sucks at defense, so it's just it's not a good time with him. So... Okay, I'm just building up their support. 
Alright, let's see what we got. Just have to be worried about him, because archers, uh, any flying characters are super um, uh, not great at uh, defense against archery. Very strong. Uh oh. <coughs> That's not good. Oof. I don't think I've used Vika in my original playthrough of this game. She's okay. She's just like another bird character. Come on, Jill. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good. So the nice thing is you can see your enemy's movement speed um, and adjust accordingly. He's got a hand axe. I don't want him to... Some uh, axes can be thrown. Most cannot. Great, one hit kill. Love those. Da -da -da. Great thing about the armored uh, knights is armor doesn't do jack crap against magic especially not fire magic all right let's send you up here and yeah, we'll send everybody up here all right now we wait ouch I don't want to jinx it, but this should be fairly easy. Good. Okay. I find it a little disheartening that she didn't attack twice. Very easily could have attacked twice. Still very bad. Getting slowly better. There we go. I got a door key. I'm pretty sure so they can open them. Yep. These are some of the people we have to free. These <laughs> faceless... Uh, Comrades. That's not good. Oof. Okay. No 
Nolan, you're so weak all the time. All the time. Okay, good. You can take some wind magic. Good. I love it when my guys dodge stuff. It makes me feel like I'm actually doing something right by leveling them up. So there's also some terrain bonuses that you can get. Like if you're higher than someone, um, your elevation, um, you know, you're gonna... You're gonna hurt some people. Nice. Uh, I mean, they're both resistant. There we go. I just want to make sure that when you're fighting someone with magic, that you're using magic that's better than theirs. There we go. She should be able to fly back up. Yes. Great. Good. Love it. Wind magic against fire does not do much damage. Alright. Let's get everyone up here. I find it interesting that items... The game tells you when they break. But it doesn't tell you when a vulnerary breaks. Which is like a, a healing sort of... It's like... A, you know, package of energy or something. It's weird. Yes, try and shoot me. There we go. Alright, so I should be able to... Uh, I don't want to risk it. Yet another guy. Great. Who's this guy? Yep. Hand axe. You always got to be aware of what your enemies are... are uh, holding on to because if you put someone who can't take a an arrow or a, some magic or something like that behind someone who they can still reach it's a dangerous game there we go and I guess we've got some more bad people yeah all right Nice. That's what I'm talking about. No problem, dude. Just trying to help you out. I'm going to move some of these people. So that they're not directly in the line of fire from these incoming people, specifically Micaiah. I'll move you down here. Okay. 
So I gotta wait for my beast characters, my little beast characters, to uh, charge back up before they can turn back into their animal form thingies and absolutely wreck everyone's crap. I'm like, like genuinely not sure if I'm allowed to swear on this <laughs> stream. I can't remember. Okay. Alright, so I kind of want to deal with these guys first. So... Let's back off for a second. This is going to be interesting. Alright. Okay, that side should be covered. This side... I'm gonna put Zyhark right here, move you up, move you down, and I'm gonna leave Sotha there in case anybody over here wants to move. All right, I think we should be, mm, it really depends. Uh, see, I shouldn't have Jill there because she's gonna get shot. Uh, all right, oh, she can talk to someone. Do you remember me? Great, all right, well, all right, we'll we'll do with that. We'll deal with that. Okay, that's good. Disadvantage on. Why are they going over there? I don't understand. <laughs> There's like they can't. That's really dumb on the computer's part to force them to do that. Because I can still hit people. Great. I'm gonna bring Zyhark over here. Start wrecking people's crap. I'm just gonna bring Morim over here too. Morim! Has it been three years? I don't know why he has that kind of a voice, but he does. Okay, I'd say these... Mm, these guys have, like, no protection. I guess I should move up. It's playing a dangerous game here. Alright, let's try it. There's one. All right, Let's see what happens. Could have told you that was going to happen. Great. Okay. We're good. Literally was just worried that they would come. Why would you do that? It's so dumb. This computer is an idiot. There we go. Wish I was that good with throwing knives. I'd be... A Amazing. Great. All right, well, I can't really... Bring some people back here. This should be fairly straightforward from now. So long as um, Sotha can 
do okay against these guys, which I think he should be able to do. Yeah. Yeah, should be fine. Of course, I say that, and that's when, you know, people die. Yeah, it was okay. Boom, gotcha. Okay, let's take care of some of these knights or uh, generals. I actually forget what they're called. Great. I'm actually gonna keep his bronze knife even though it's super weak because it means he'll be able to hit magic users if he hits them, or if they attack him. Okay. Get back up here. Uh, I'll come over here. Good. All right, let's heal you up. Close enough. I think we're good for now. I'm just gonna end this turn. Good. So now one of these guys, one of these mages, should, yeah, should be forced to attack me up close. The other one will attack me and it doesn't matter if he's up close or not, I'll still be able to hit him. There we go. This guy really likes mages, this boss. Okay, so there's still one other guy we need to free in this big, uh, or probably two people in here, but we have to come down to do it. So I'm gonna do that. Tormod, I'm gonna move you up here and heal you. More, I'm gonna come over here. We will end the turn. Great. Good, good, good. Ugh. Dang it. This guy was a little closer. Alright, whatever. I'll just go after the mages. You know what? I'm gonna do something potentially very stupid. I mean, he should be able to hit him. Nope. There you go. Bring you down here. And you over here. There we go. you up here in case those archers decide to move. Okay. Actually. Oof. Whatever. I have to deal with the consequences of my actions. Nope. Apparently there were none, so no worries. I'd assume that that guy would move, but I guess he's guarding the prison cell. Zyhark leveled up. Oh, Zyhark. You were so bad in the first game. <laughs> Even fully leveled up. Here we go. Great. Just gotta get these guys out safely. Mm. 
Okay. Should be good to go. Yep. These guys will leave. Okay. I'm gonna move Micaiah up because I think she has to be the one to do all the fancy stuff. I'm gonna move these guys up so that we can attack everyone at once. I wonder if I can direct... No, I can't. Alright, I guess everyone's just staying put. <laughs> Works for me. Just directly attack these archers who can't fight back. Hey, he can use Thoron now or whatever. Wow, that archer's for some reason has very good defense. And he's dead. That might not be Mystic Sword, direct and indirect combat. So, I don't want him to die. I'm going to rescue him. So he won't move, because he needs to keep the space covered, but he also can't attack me. So I can do whatever I want for the rest of the match and get as ready as I need to get. So I'll move him over here, drop him, and bring up my healer. Try to bring up my healer. Okay. Go for it, dudes. Okay. So I don't know... This guy's a level 18, so he's actually pretty strong. Yeah. Um I don't know how this is actually going to affect This is this is surprisingly difficult choice to make and I have as much time as I need to make it. It's just hard. <laughs> um no, uh, Sananas, 5566, I am not in search of followers, primes, or views. I mean, I am, but I'm not going to get them through whatever you're trying to sell. Okay. Alright, so he's not actually that strong. So what I can do... Is shove him away... Pull up Sothi. What can I steal from him? I can steal a Vulnery from him. That's great. Should be able to get him. There we go. And Sothi should get some experience points. There we go. My trusty rogue. Alright, so I think that's everything. Just gotta end the match. Got everyone out. Good stuff. Sweet. Uh, guess who's definitely not evil? Izuka. You mumbling creep. Yeah. Yeah. 
So this guy's clearly not in it for personal gain and because he's crazy. Definitely not. Definitely not crazy. Oh, Tormud, you were great. Great. So the Apostle is like the Pope uh, of this big country that took over Dane, which is a... Uh, think of it, Dane, like Germany in World War I. They tried to take over everything. We beat them back. And now there's sort of like a... They're being occupied by Ben Yan, who's like, I guess, the British. Or, I don't know. The, Europe, the uh, League of Nations. <laughs> But uh, some people trying to uh, I don't know how old she's supposed to be. <coughs> I kind of always assumed that she was younger than Sothi, but apparently she's older. Great. Good stuff. Give me more. All right, here's some narration. Lagu's warriors, led by Tormod, join the escaped prisoners, and Dayan's army grows ever larger. Its victories at Talrega and other key locations have strengthened its position. The army rides across the land, liberating prisoners from Benihan encampments. The day in ranks swell with the influx of veteran soldiers, and the men begin to dream of the day when they may retake the capital. Like a fever, conflict grips the nation. The night will be long before this fever breaks. All eyes turn toward day in's capital as the liberation begins what all believe will be a long and bloody march. Long and bloody march. So these are uh, some of the senator. Well, Jared is like a general in the Benyon Empire, and the guy next to him is like a senator who is just a bad guy. Oops. There we go. An inspection team. Ooh. I remember when those used to mean something. Back in the good old days of the Spanish Inquisition. Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> this guy looks like an idiot. Why is he looking up? He's like... <laughs> Trap the malcontents. I'm so malcontented at this moment in time. She's healing everybody with her sacrificial health thing. Trying to inspire the people. Somebody's killing someone. Oh, Teronio. You're great. And so strong. This is such a good character to have on your team. I'm pretty sure we get rid of everyone in like two maps or two levels. Okay, so this is the base uh, character management system. It's not super interesting, and I did most everything that I needed to do last time, so I don't think I actually need 
to do that much. Unless, yeah, okay. So I will add a steel dagger to Sothi because I need him to have more oomph when he fights people. All right, so we'll give him two. Uh, we'll give him, what the heck, we'll give him three and then I'll trade some stuff out. That's good. I think I can only buy one. We'll do L Thunder. I'm gonna give it to Torma. Uh, can he use L Fire? You know what? I'm just gonna buy L Fire for him. Oh man, I can just afford that. Okay, I gotta I gotta sell some stuff. <laughs> You're never seeing the light of day, so don't worry about that. You're probably not going to fight Jill Will. Is it throwable? Hmm. Okay. Get rid of that. Have the chess key. Okay. What can I buy? Ooh, we have a mend for a thousand. So, <laughs> um, it's kind of like the the things you can buy at the base change depending on what level you're about to go in. And like this Worm Slayer, it would be great to have because I guarantee you there's gonna be some Draco Knights and Dragon Tribe Lagoos. Maybe I should just sell some more stuff that I didn't think I would have to. Cause I really want that. You don't need that. You don't need that. All right, let's see if I can buy it. Oh, it's 600, 600. Mm, I think I should be good after this. It's something I can sell for really cheap. There we go. So, come over here, buy this, and I should probably give it to Zyhart. All right, so now I get to dole out all the XP that I managed to get this pass around. Just a decent amount. Upgrade your mage, always up, or your uh, cleric. Always upgrade them. Oh, priest. I think she turns into a cleric after? I can't remember. Once again, his defense does not level up, which is so stupidly annoying because he's so bad at taking hits and he's a fighter like you would think a fighter would be like pretty high defense and Leonardo's catching up to him okay dun 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 all right I think we got this. Maybe give uh, Makai or Sothi some extra oomph. I'm... Oh, I can actually level her up. Oh, didn't think I could do that. She's got decent resistance. Nothing too special. Okay. I don't have any support conversations, but I can talk to... Well, this counts as a support conversation. She lost in thought. Oh, okay, so she is older than she looks. Dun, 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 dun. Great. Da, 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 da. 
A lot of talking. So much talking. I can skip it by pressing B, but I kind of just want to fake read it. Teronio! Music in this game is so good. Actually, in both the games, it's really good. Very catchy, very fitting of uh, the... Uh... Oh, I think she's scared of, like, humans. Okay, so I got two items, both of which are great. She cannot use Restore, but she can use this Asher icon, which increases her luck. And she's already got really high luck, so I think I might actually trade that to Sophie. And we'll see what he has. Oh, his luck's actually really good. I'm going to do it anyway, because I like Sophie, and I use him a lot. Nope. Just did exactly what I didn't want to do. Okay, great. Trade that with Laura. She can use Restore, which I think fixes anyone who... Yeah, turn, so if anyone's poisoned, I can use that and they'll be unpoisoned. I think we're good to go. Oh, well. Just kidding. I'm gonna give Tormod your vulneries. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're pretty good. Lego Kill some fools. Uh -huh. I know why uh, they gave us a bunch of poison stuff. Because it's a swampy area. And you know there's one thing about the swamps. That they're poisonous. There you go. Taking care of business. It's the youth. <laughs> we need to save the youth vote. Ugh, there's so many people here. Boom! It's, uh, it's supposed to be pretty badass. It was okay. You activated my trap card. Oh. See, now both of them can move again. There you go. Don't, don't be distracted. <laughs> I think I'm good. Just save right here, just in case. All right, let's go. This game still does not like her. Uh... We go. Still doesn't like doing her magic some reason. I don't know why. Great. Let's 
take a look around this map. So all these people have venom axes, which are poisoned. Level 33? I, th I guess the Lagoos can just level up as much as they want. I'm just going to let them be for now. Oh, you know what? I'll move them here so that they're in their... Um, they get the, get the little defense plus. All right. Great. Good luck with that, pal. I got extra 10% on my defense. So he's poisoned now, which sucks. Great. This might, this might not end well. No, it'll end fine. Goodness, she's so strong. That's not good. I was hoping he would kill him. Apparently not. That's what I'm talking about. I need these one-hit kills. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking for. Excuse me. Uh. All right. Let's see what happens. That's not good. He might get hit. Great. So that's like her critical attack, which is pretty good. Almost got it. It's pretty good. God, there's just so many freaking people. What the heck? She can't rescue any- Urgh, It's so annoying. Alright. Let's try something else. She's 
so strong. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Donk. Love it. Okay. Left side is, for the most part, pretty contained. Where can you fly to? I'm gonna fly you over here. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Ah! Uh, I really don't want to restart. Gosh dang it. Forget how to start the game over. <laughs> um. All right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna restart it. We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, looking for a game. Okay, here we go. Let's try this one more time. I'll end the stream after this level is over. It should take me 15, 20 minutes, so it'll be like a decent hour and a half, maybe something like that. It's gonna be a real long series. Um, these these levels only get longer, so I mean it's kind of ridiculous. All right, so I need to prioritize. Mm. Maybe that's what I'll do. I need to worry first about getting the people, like the actual people who I'm supposed to be rescuing. Nice. Very nice. Good job. Alright, so, bring you up here, and you down here. You couldn't have made that first one a critical. I'm gonna start sending you. A little bit better off now that we know what the conditions are. Yes, I know they're gonna try. Let's let them find them. If I can shove him, no. Close enough. Come on, give me critical. So close. I think I can actually reach him before they do, which is pretty crazy.
Good. Good. So these guys shouldn't be able... Yeah, okay. I think I'm in a pretty decent situation. Other than Fly Girl not being able to do anything. I'll put Leo over here just in case. Mr. DiCaprio. I don't know how... I mean, I guess you... I don't know how you would not have that person die. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Either of those options. <laughs> Great. Nice. <clears throat> so these two that I'm on should keep running away. They should. There's no guarantee of that. And this guy is probably going to kill this guy next, or he'll come after this guy. Really, I just want to route this guy, this uh, boss, so the enemies stop coming. When the heck are you guys going to be ready? Oh my gosh. How do you only... I can't with this game anymore. It's like... Finally. Whatever. It's, oh, shoot. That wasn't good. Woohoo! They just made it out of there. It's crazy. That's not good. So they might die. That's really not good. If he keeps missing, he'll be okay. Yeah, he might be okay. Depends. He's just laying into these innocent people. It's crazy. He killed half of them. Nolan sucks so much. 
I don't know what... If he dies, I don't even care at this point. I'm just gonna let him die. He's such a terrible fighter. Alright, well, something might be okay. <laughs> I don't care. He's awful. He's, he can't... He, I think the number of times he's... He's gotten a miss has been like two. This entire game. Playing for like four or five hours. Ridiculous. I don't, I don't know why they started him off so low. He's supposed to be like the older guy in the Dawn Brigade too. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So if I move you, great, I don't care. I move you here. Let's see what you can do. Good. Nice. Good job. I love it when you can rely on, you know, characters to do their jobs. It just makes everything so much easier. Alright, let's see if I can kill this guy. Apparently I can. There we go. So, as nice as it was to be able to do that, it does not win you the map. And he may still die. Maybe. Oh my gosh, freaking guy. Yeah, try it. Idiots. It looks like there's going to be one guy <laughs> left standing. Oh my gosh, there's so many freaking people. Alright, I gotta, I gotta take care of this. Finally. How's that working out for you? Alright. Now I can shift and she should be able to Yes. Great. Amazing job. Finally. Okay. Let's see what this does. And he leveled up. Hope his defense goes up. That's what I like to see. Alright. So I think it's just these five. Let's get it done. Good. Great. Four left. All right, I got this. Great, good, good, good. These fire majors, yeah, they are. Indeed, they are. So Nyla is like a queen of the wolf tribe or whatever. She'll be fine against these guys. Volug, on the other hand, not so much. Okay. Okay. 
took three hits, but he finally got a critical. Great. Donk. I love it. Okay. Just these two. I think we're good. See? Her defense is so high, and she's so powerful. It's ridiculous. She, like, never gets hits, and she always does, like, one-hit kills. Especially on these weaker enemies. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be... It's never... It's never easy. <laughs> Alright, well... They can just take care of themselves, then. One hit kill. Let's bring Volo down here. Let's try it out. You're so close. So close to getting a one hit kill. Alright. Let's see what these guys do. They're probably going to go after Sothi if I had to guess. If not, I've got preparations being made. Okay. Thank goodness for that throwing knife. Okay. So here's where it gets a little dangerous. I'm gonna kill one of them. Good. Good. It's the last one I have to worry about. Just gonna have to, okay. Oh, we're good. We're good. Perfect. We just won. Finally. It took forever. His throwing knife broke. But we won, which is all that matters. What's his name died? Nolan. I don't care. He's terrible. Everyone's cheering your name. <laughs> I kind of, I almost prefer the uh, <laughs> the way the GBA games handle this series, where you as the player take on the role as the strategist in the game, and people like refer to you. At least that's the way like the original Fire Emblem for GBA was. Um, I kind of miss that. I miss like being a part of the story, and you could like, I don't know, affect change. Here it's just like your god, you know, which I guess is also fun. Yay! Everybody's waving! We're so happy! I said this music pretty good pretty spot on nice little harp it's good stuff big fan dun, 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 dun. so uh i think this is where you find out uh hey uh that guy you trusted kind of sucks as if we couldn't tell that from the beginning Sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once here. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So 
So that's like the song of calming or whatever. The uh, this race of um, sort of like swan lagoos. They they have the power of the galder, which is like the like mystical magic power that can influence people and do all this trigger regrowth or death or whatever. So it's pretty cool. Everyone's okay. Peleus, the hidden prince that no one knew about in the first game, king of the mad, or uh, son of the mad king Ashnard, who is the ultimate bad guy in the first one, hidden away by Azuka, trying now to take power in Dane, rightfully, uh, though he's. A little bit manipulated at the moment because Azuka, if you couldn't tell just by looking at him, is evil. He's just straight up a bad guy. And Tormod rushes off. You gonna give me a save? Yet? No? Alright, so this is the capital of Benyon. That's the Apostle on the right. She's like 13. These are some senators who are also evil because, as you know, anyone with garb like that is evil. Especially with an expression like the guy on the left. Numida. And she's just getting them to create this... Uh, Inquisition. That's Seferin. He is the Prime Minister of Benyon and is super powerful. Also, very interesting of a character. And also, is very central to the storyline. Both in the first and second games. These guys, if you couldn't tell, are bad guys. Just look at that mustache. You can tell from a mile away. Finally, we get to save. Right? <laughs> I for some reason, it didn't save. I think we get some more narration here. Yep. I'll at least do that so we don't have to do it next time. And a small band of fighters knowingly walk into a trap to save condemned day in prisoners. Even without the benefit of Izuka's vast information network, news of Micaiah's heroism in Shifu Swamp spreads like wildfire across Dayan. The once hopeless citizens of Dayan dub her the Priestess of Dawn and find their spirits restored. In their troubled hearts, they see in her nothing less than the promise of salvation. Throughout Dayan, the people rise as one against the brutality of their oppressors. Benyon's occupying forces cannot deal with open war on so many fronts. General Jared redeploys his men to key locations to better defend the capital city. Jared's forces still outnumber those of the Dayan Liberators, and he has hardened his defenses in hopes of holding off Micaiah's army. The Liberation forces fight with a fury not to be denied, however, and the Occupation Army begins to lose its will to fight, breaking through enemy lines again and again. Micaiah's forces gain vital ground and momentum. Despite the anger Micaiah feels toward Izuka for his treatment of their Lagu's allies, she continues to lead the army in its lightning-quick advance. Nivasa is now mere days away. Okay. One survives. Big news afoot. Keep doing that. There we go.
<laughs> Spread the news. What news? This is going to take me to my base? No? Oh my gosh. This is like such a long in-between for the levels. <laughs> so, I don't think he's going to like that. <laughs> this guy is ridiculous. I love this guy. That girl. Our final mission. Now it should bring me to the base. Oh my god, there's one more. This is ridiculous. Something's going wrong here. I forget if they all get poisoned or something. I don't know. Why is she the only... What's going on? Is this where the Black Knight shows up? I can't remember anymore. Unusual to see you alone. <laughs> Can't do that. My job is this thing. Here are your war funds. Here's. I wish. I need a friend like that who just gives me 10,000 gold. If you're watching and you have 10,000 gold. Let's talk. Hey, we're ladies and we're friends. Does this conversation meet the Bechdel test? They're talking about a guy. I don't know. Take this. It's a pass scroll. What does it even mean? What is it? What does it give you? Grants this unit the ability to pass through enemy occupied spaces. That's actually pretty good. Definitely not giving it to her. <laughs> she always stays back. All right, I'm interested to see what this this uh, this thing is with her, because it's just her. This has to be the Black Knight. I can't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure. It's just me. <laughs> yeah, it's the Black Knight. I just ruined that little cinematic for you, sorry. Still very much alive. Douse the torches. How did you know I was in danger? Oh, he's so powerful. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Even Ike at his full power would have trouble with that one. Well, at least you get some uh, experience points from this. There we go. Dodge it.
Hmm. Guess I'll just stay here. Or not. Or she could just die in one one hit. How am I supposed to do that if she... Whatever. Let's try it again. This is a short mission, so we'll call that three missions for tonight once this is over. Are you so weak? This is ridiculous. I know. Maybe that's what I did.
you'd think after seeing like 15, 10 to 15 people like go down on one guy, it would be over. You'd run away. Ooh, that's not good. Where the heck are these guys coming from? Hit him again. Come on, dude. I am such a stupid idiot. Oh my gosh. This is why you check to see what weapons people have before you attack them. Can't believe I forgot. I have to do this all over again. Do I have to beat? Do I have to survive? What's the conditions? Defeat the boss. I, I don't know where he is. Exactly like last time. <laughs> of a honery. Because so many people. If I had to guess, he's in the top right corner. That's what I would assume. Great. She won't let me rescue her. That's annoying.
Ding. Ooh, that's not good. She might freaking die again. Who knows at this point? Yep. This is so ridiculous. This should not be this difficult. Literally the most powerful character in the entire game. To, I, I just have to beat the boss. That's all I have to do. I'll just keep her safe then. I can get through like two levels with minimum effort and this small side level is the one that's giving me trouble. It's ridiculous. She's gonna die again. This is so stupid. This is so dumb.
All right. Oh my gosh. Amazing. She actually dodged. I'm so proud of you, Micaiah. Okay. This might not work. Wow, your defense went up. That's amazing. He's got a plus five defense or 40 defense. It's crazy. Right, hopefully, that means there's no more guys. Very leery of all this. Is this guy? Where the heck is he? here? Really? Wow. All that work is literally right there. All right. Well, Jared. Jared is done. Wish slash. Oh. oh, he's so loyal.
don't like this. Alright. We're gonna end it there. Uh, before this guy's narration kicks in. Oh, man. That was a lot of Fire Emblem. Let's see if I can get this back. Hey, look at that. Go back to webcam. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I actually had a pretty good time uh, playing this time. It was, you know, that last little bit was pretty frustrating, but uh, at least uh, we got past it. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Subpixel Live. If you want to see more Subpixel content, uh, we have a ton of stuff that goes up weekly, um, sometimes daily, and we're always working on new videos. Uh, I think Ian actually just put out a video on uh the xbox series x and xbox series s and what it means for microsoft's future and for the future of the gaming industry uh, also in accordance with uh, xbox game pass and and everything that that's sort of doing to change the industry from you know a console only sort of pc only things to uh to streaming which is which is crazy so there's a lot of good content on that uh again ian just put out you can find that on our new youtube channel by just youtubing uh subpixel or you can go to subpixelfilms.com it'll take you right there you can also find us at subpixel team on twitter and instagram and facebook that's where we all live you can find me at kyle of the beard on twitter uh, and instagram as well again thank you guys so much for watching uh, i hope you will stick around for the series and watch me play a little bit next week on wednesday but until then have a good night see you guys